Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Oscilloscope's Acquisition Modes. In this presentation, we'll provide a short technical introduction to acquisition modes, interpolation, and averaging in modern digital oscilloscopes. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of oscilloscope operation. If you're new to oscilloscopes, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentation, Understanding Basic Oscilloscope Operation, before continuing with this presentation. In a modern digital oscilloscope, an analog input signal is converted by an ADC, or analog to digital converter, into sample points at a fixed rate. Depending on the horizontal scaling, the number of sample points produced by the ADC often greatly exceeds the number of points needed to create the waveform that will be displayed on the oscilloscope screen. An important question, therefore, is which sample points should be used to create the waveform? There are actually several different ways of converting sample points into waveform points, and these methods are called acquisition modes. You may also hear the process referred to as decimation, since it reduces or decimates the number of sample points. As mentioned a moment ago, the chosen acquisition mode will produce waveform points from the provided sample points, and in the remainder of this presentation, we'll provide a short technical overview of the most common acquisition modes in modern oscilloscopes. We'll also discuss some additional processing that may be performed on these waveform points, namely interpolation and averaging, but we'll start with acquisition modes. The three most common acquisition modes are sample, peak detect, and so-called high resolution mode. All three of these acquisition or decimation modes can be found on most modern digital oscilloscopes. We'll start by looking at sample mode. Sample mode is the most common and most straightforward acquisition mode, and it's often the default mode on many oscilloscopes. In this mode, the samples are divided into groups or intervals. One sample, in this example the last one, from each group is recorded or taken as the waveform point, and all of the other samples in each interval are simply discarded. Although this mode is very easy to implement and has a minimum impact on processing time, the main drawback of sample mode is that it may not be able to capture very short duration events, such as glitches. The next mode we'll look at is peak detect mode. In peak detect mode, the maximum and minimum values from each interval or group of samples are recorded as the waveform points. And as before, the other samples are simply discarded. Peak detect mode is most useful in capturing short duration events, such as high frequency glitches, or other outliers that might be missed if using the sample mode we just discussed. In many cases, the waveform samples produced by peak detect mode are displayed in something called envelope mode, in which the max and min values are both plotted together over multiple acquisitions. This is particularly helpful when trying to visualize worst case scenarios over time. The third acquisition mode we'll look at is something called high resolution mode. Rather than pick one or two values from each interval and discard the other samples, high resolution mode calculates the average of all the samples within each interval. Averaging the samples in this way reduces random or instrument noise, thus improving signal to noise ratio and vertical resolution. High resolution mode therefore can often provide more detail in the displayed waveform. Averaging all of the samples in an interval does however require more processing than just selecting a sample or the maximum values, so high resolution mode may reduce the overall waveform acquisition rate of an oscilloscope. Note that unlike averaging, which we'll discuss later in this presentation, high resolution mode can be used on a single shot acquisition. That is, it improves vertical resolution without requiring multiple acquisitions. There is, however, one thing to keep in mind when using high resolution mode. Because high resolution mode combines multiple samples into a single sample, it effectively reduces the sample rate. The slower sample rate then decreases the maximum signal frequency that can be accurately digitized. For example, a sufficiently high sampling rate would allow our scope to accurately digitize this input signal. But if too low of a sample rate were used, the result would be an aliased waveform that does not accurately represent the analog input signal. Therefore, the reduced sample rate in high resolution mode will reduce the alias-free bandwidth of an oscilloscope. Note that the effective reduction in bandwidth in high resolution mode 
is neither precisely known nor user configurable. Following acquisition processing, two optional steps can be performed on waveform points. These are interpolation and averaging. Although there are many other additional types of processing that can be applied to waveform points, in this presentation, we'll limit ourselves to these two very common operations. We'll start with interpolation. Recall that the acquisition mode determines how waveform points are created from sample points. But oscilloscopes usually present waveform data to the user in the form of a line or curve, since most humans find it easier to visualize or interpret data in the form of continuous lines, rather than as discrete points. In oscilloscopes, interpolation defines how the waveform points are connected. The two most common interpolation types are linear and sine x over x, and we'll go over both of these in more detail in just a moment. Note too that the interpolation type is commonly a user-selectable or user-configurable parameter. A linear interpolation connects the waveform points using straight lines. It's a very easy interpolation to implement and generally works best on square wave type signals. Using a linear interpolation on other types of signals may result in a somewhat jagged waveform. Sine x over x, on the other hand, connects the waveform points using a curve. This is the most common interpolation and is the default on most oscilloscopes. The resulting signal is smoother than a linear interpolation, and sine x over x works best on curved signals or signals with irregular shapes. As the name implies, averaging averages the waveform points of multiple sequential acquisitions. The advantage of averaging is that it can greatly reduce random noise and thus increase signal-to-noise ratio and vertical resolution. The more waveforms that are averaged together, the greater the noise reduction. For example, any single acquisition of this square wave contains a noticeable amount of noise, but this noise is substantially reduced as more acquisitions are averaged together. Unlike the high resolution mode we discussed earlier, averaging requires a repetitive signal with a stable trigger point. Averaging can't be used on a single shot acquisition. Averaging is also unlike high resolution mode in that there's no reduction in bandwidth or sample rate. And finally, note that the scope's triggering system can't take advantage of this noise reduction because averaging only occurs after acquisition. Let's end with a brief summary. Digital oscilloscopes use an analog-to-digital converter, or ADC, to convert the analog input signal into digital sample points. Because there are often many more samples than necessary, various acquisition modes are used to convert or combine these sample points into waveform points. These waveform points are then used to generate the waveform that's displayed on the oscilloscope screen. There are three main acquisition modes which are found in almost all modern oscilloscopes. Sample mode simply selects a sample point from a given set of sample values. This is the simplest and fastest mode. Peak detect returns the maximum and minimum sample point and is helpful in looking for outliers or in worst case analysis. High resolution mode combines or averages the points within an interval and this results in lower noise and greater vertical resolution. Various operations are then often performed on the waveform points and in this presentation, we briefly cover the two most common ones. Interpolation defines the method used to draw lines or curves between the individual waveform points, and averaging is often used to reduce noise by averaging multiple waveforms together. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Oscilloscopes, Acquisition Modes. If you'd like to learn more about this and other oscilloscope-related topics, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.